Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be walking you through my server settings that I use for my Conan Exiles PS4 server. And I'm going to be walking you through how the settings work and giving you the information you need to set up your own server. So stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. If you want to get your Conan Exiles PS4 server set up in minutes, you should get a pre-made settings code from ConanExilesPS4.com forward slash settings. Here, you'll be able to find a wide variety of settings codes that you can quickly download and copy and paste into your Conan Exiles PS4 server. Go to ConanExilesPS4.com forward slash settings and get your downloadable pre-made server settings code now so you can get your server set up asap yo what's going on i'm jay carter ray from conan exiles ps4.com teaching you how to be better and let's go and set up our server real quick if you want to download my server settings then you can download it from conan exiles ps4.com forward slash settings you can download it over here just so watch your tutorial video it'll show you it will show you everything you need to know now we are going to quickly import our server code here so we've got all our correct settings set up and we will get rid of this downloaded from conan exiles ps4 line and then we'll just save that and now we'll have all our settings set up and we can go to basic settings and start looking through it oh shit i thought my server was off <laughs> let's stop that you shouldn't copy things over like that when your server's on let's go back and make sure that everything's working i won't show you that but we'll be back here in a second all right so i just made sure everything is working on the up and up now we're going to walk through pretty much every setting so this may take a little while so bear with me you will need to know what all these things mean so watch until the end so you know server name slots all that sort of stuff you should already know what's going on there this is your server name this is the amount of slots you currently have on your server you can't really change that without upgrading your server and you can back up or wipe your server by going through this current save game and you can go back to a, a earlier backup basically or you can delete all save games and start fresh so that's how this thing over here works let's talk about the purge protection system if you have this ticked you will have the purge on your server which is basically it's like an npc horde that's supposed to come across the map and attack bases basically so that's how that works if you have this ticked then you can build during purges if you don't have it ticked, you won't be able to build so you can't build more defenses when you learn that the purge is coming this is the purge difficulty level i think default is six so if you raise this it will get harder if you put it lower it will get easier this is the purge preparation time this is the amount of minutes you have in between the purge warning and the start of the purge so i think it says something like warning purge is coming i don't know i've never really experienced the purge myself so if you know what it actually says on the screen put it down below but i'm assuming they give you a warning let you know the purge is coming and this means it will be 10 minutes before it actually starts after the warning so it seems like we're going down a lot over here um i guess we'll go all the way down on the right hand side and then we'll go on the left hand side and start explaining that so we'll just deal with more of the purge the purge periodic periodic periodicity i don't I don't know if that's the real word, but raising this increases the number of times a purge will be triggered in a real day. The actual number of purges is also dependent on the various settings below. So I think this means you'll be able to have one purge every 24 hours. Not 100% sure on that because I haven't really edited any of the purge DLs. I think if you want the purge to be on your server, just leave it as default. And if you don't want the purge to be on your server, just turn it off basically so that's how i'd treat that uh this is fair enough the purge duration raising this increases the number of minutes the purge will last so if you want it to be 30 minutes if you want it to be less then you can do that over here 
minimum purge online players this is a really important setting actually raising this makes purges only occur when the set number of players are online if set to zero there needs to be at least one player online for a purge to start i don't know why it would be like that if set to zero i would think you need to put it to one to make sure at least one person is online for the purge to start but i guess that's not the way they're explaining it but sometimes the explanation is a lie so i'd put it to one if you want to make sure that you don't get any offline purges clan score update frequency raising the interval raising the interval will make the purge meter increase slower especially for active people and clans so this is basically the interval that will determine when the clan score update update so you know when you pause the game you see that little purge meter at the bottom of your screen this is what i think it's referring to so if there's if this is high then it will take then you'll have to do a lot of building in between and it will just you know if you set this like 60 it'll update every every hour so if you do a lot of building and you get over that purge limit it won't happen until it actually updates so there's no real reason to make this any longer in my opinion i just leave it how it is it's currently on 15 i'd leave that where it is so it's updating every 15 minutes i think if you lower it then you might experience some lag i wouldn't really lower it i'd leave it at 15 because that seems to be a good medium clan purge trigger so raising this increases the amount of different selected actions clans or players can do until they're eligible to be purged so this is the score this is the clan score i believe that needs to be reached in order for the purge to happen so once ev like clans on the server have reached this amount of score collectively then the purge will be triggered. So you can raise that to make you have to do more before the purge is triggered. So here's the purge restriction weekday end. So this is when the purge restriction stops. Actually, what is, why is this the end before the start? That doesn't make sense. That's weird. Yeah, so this is when, is purge restriction even on? No, purge restriction is not on, on in these server settings, so no need to worry about that. But basically what this does is it will restrict the purge between certain times. So if you're like, okay, I want people to be able to be purged from 12 a.m. till 8 a.m. or something, that's terrible. But then you'd put, you know, 000, then 08 over here. And then, you know, people will be able to be purged between that time on weekdays. Weekend, you do the same thing, basically. And, well, no, this is the wrong one. You'd have to put the 000 here at the start and you put the 8 o'clock at the end. And that's the way that would work. And you do the exact same for the weekend times. So, you don't have to restrict purge time. You can turn that off so that the purge can come whenever. And this is coming again that is weird and these purge times seem to be operating pretty much the same way as the purge restrictions so right about now as you can see it's on zero 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 all across so purge can happen at any time whenever but if you would change this then you can make it only happen between a certain time which is basically the same as purge restriction so i don't know why they have it here twice that seems a bit weird for me but let's go over to the left hand side because we've done all the purge stuff now where did we last left off i think we left off at server password if you put a password here then your server will become password protected and you'll need to enter a password to even be able to log on to the server that's what that's about here's the admin password this is the password that you'll need to enter to have access to admin commands if you haven't watched my how to set yourself as an admin video go and check that out this is um you click this if you want to enable pvp if you want a pvp server click this pvp blitz uh, is another mode that i haven't done a lot of research into if you just google conan exiles pvp blitz then that will explain to you what happens but i believe pvp blitz 
makes things a little bit faster and there may be some sort of wipe involved i'm not 100 percent sure so i highly suggest you look into that yourself but this enables the mold pvp blitz <clears throat> here's max nudity that you know full nudity partial nudity no nudity partial i believe has your nether regions covered no nudity i'm unsure what's there to be honest but we got full nudity on these servers server community this can pretty much be anything this is to just let people know what kind of server you're trying to run i've got it on relaxed here because you know we're a relaxed server we want people to come in and have fun but you can say it's a purist hardcore role play experimental it doesn't really do much to your server it doesn't do anything to your server except for show people what kind of community you are when they search for you in the server list so that's what that does server region this is where your server is located so you know wherever you purchase your server wherever you're renting it from this is where you should have your server region so you effectively communicate to people where your server is hosted tick rate selects how many calculations the server can do per second you can't change it so no point worrying about it culture is your language selection let's change that to english because i've rented my servers in frankfurt i have the default is a de which is i think it's dutch i'm not 100 percent sure to be honest server message of the day is what people can see if they press start and they go to settings they'll see your message of the day so you can put that in there you can also edit this from actually being in the game so you don't have to worry about this too much but i would just do it here maximum allowed ping for people playing on the server i don't have this active on my server but if you are having people joining from different regions that are giving you you know making your server really really laggy because they've got terrible ping then you can enter the maximum allowed ping and hopefully that will stop them from playing on the server but honestly some of these settings don't work so <laughs> you never know <laughs> you never know to be honest here's the raid protection system so if you click this you will res restrict pvp building damage time so that is the time in which damage can be done to buildings by other players so as you can see here we've started the damage time on weekdays at 4 p.m and we've ended it at 11 a.m i mean not 11 a.m 12 a.m so this is the start time this is the end time if you want to do it you know you just pick a time that you want it to start at pick a time that you want it to end at if you want to restrict building damage time if you don't want to restrict it just turn it off and this acts as like a safe it's kind of like offline raid protection but not because you can still get offline raided but it just allows people to raid between specific times which i like i like the idea of that that's why we got it active on this server pvp damage time weekend start is basically the same as weekday start but it's just on the weekends so we've got at 12 p.m till 12 a.m here on weekends because people generally have more time on weekends so we have more time where pvp is enabled restrict avatar summoning time this will restrict the time where you can summon avatars and we've gone through so many of this time weekday starts and time week end starts and ends and all that sort of stuff that i hope by now you understand how this works it all works the same so let's go down to extended settings which is where a lot of you guys are probably interested in you know the full scale multipliers and this is what we currently got on my server so we do not have everyone can cheat because that would be really really um unbalanced i've got logout characters will lay in the world but i don't believe this actually happens i don't believe when people log out you can actually see their players which is unfortunate uh, let's go down the left hand side and then we'll go down the middle and then we'll go down the right so first of all let's see player food multiplier this is basically your hunger bar so if you set this lower you'll need to eat less and player active thirst multiplier is your thirst bar set that lower you need to eat less i mean you need to drink less player active hunger is your your hunger bar when you're doing things so if you're sprinting if you're mining if you're doing something like that 
then this is what's being active. But honestly, if you set one number for the player food and you set one number for the player water, you should just apply that number across everything. So like player active first, player active hunger, player offline first, player offline hunger. Like set that all the same. Well, actually I've set offline first a bit lower because when you're offline, it's a bit bit crap for you to be you know getting thirsty and getting hungry so that when you come back online now you've got to deal with that so i've set that as as low as 0 0.1 you may be able to say as 0 0.01 but i've gone the safe route and done 0 0.1 because i know that generally works across these settings 0 0.01 may work i know it works for um throw conversions but you know the limit generally on these settings is 0 0.1 so i've just used that as my lowest um number across the board so let's continue going down building radial destruction force multiplier this sets the power which is needed to attack claim land honestly i have no idea <laughs> what this means um this is really really weird it sets the power which is needed to attack claim land i don't know i don't know what this means i've never dealt with this thing before i will just leave it how it is if you know what this means please leave it down in the comment section as that will help everyone else and i can make an extra video on it to let people know what it means so nighttime speed scale will sh uh, be basically how fast your nighttime is so if you set this up to like five then your nighttime will be much faster and it will finish five times as fast Player stamina is player stamina multiplier basically multiplies your stamina. So if you do more, like the higher the number, the more stamina you have. I've multiplied my stamina on the server by two. Resource respawn speed multiplier sets how fast resources will respawn. I've set that to one. So if you set it higher, resources will respawn faster. Drop equipment on death. This makes you drop all your equipment when you die and your inventory and all that sort of stuff. If you don't have this on, then you're just spawning with everything that you dropped, which is a bit of, well, you can just make the game easier, I guess. And then death doesn't really have that much of an impact. Everyone can loot the corpse. Everyone can loot corpse. Basically sets that everyone can loot your corpse if you die. Chat message length. This sets how long a chat line can be, but right about now you can't chat in Conan Exiles unless they've updated that. So this really isn't necessary, but I wouldn't try and push this any further and make it any bigger because I'm assuming that they've set to 512 characters for a reason. Client catch up time, basically, it's a long thing to explain so i'm just going to read the information in order to create a smooth start in experience for new players conan exiles has the ability to force a client pc to start at a certain time of day regardless of the server time if this setting is applied new characters will start at a specific time and then play at that time of the day until the server catches up to them we recommend not setting this to the darkest hours of the night unless you are a sadistic person so basically what this does is i think this is this counts as 10 a.m so what will happen is people when they when they come on the server and start a new character they will start at 10 a.m and they'll stay at that time until the server time catches up to where they actually are so if it's night time for people who have been on the server for a while then they will still experience night time but the new players will be at you know morning time and stuff until the server catches up to them and then everyone will be in the same timeline so it's a bit like time travel but not really <laughs> npc knockback multiplier this basically shows how strong npcs can be knocked back or changes how strong npcs can be knocked back if you want combat to be really really easy turn this up and you'll have stronger knockback will make it all which will make it really really harder for enemies to fight you unless you're fighting an archer which will then make it easier for the archer to fight you structure damage taken multiplier this will set how much damage a structure will take so if you set it higher the structure structures will take more damage npc health multiplier sets how much health the npcs will have you say it higher they have more health minion damage multiplier sets how much damage minions deal higher equals more i don't think this currently works 
yeah i don't think this is currently active but maybe when you're watching this it is so you can kind of try and play with it and hope that it works npc damage taken multiplier will set how much damage npcs will take higher equals more player encumbrance penalty multiplier sets how slow a player runs if they carry too much which higher makes them run slower which i tried to change this to like 0 0.1 before but this didn't work at that time i don't think it's still i don't think it works still while i'm recording this video but they may update it in the future which will allow you to actually apply unlimited weight across your server kind of pseudo unlimited weight so that when you're encumbered you can still move as fast as when you're not encumbered which will basically allow you to harvest more far more and not have to worry about inventory management which right about now you you do have to worry about that player sprint uh, speed scale sets how fast the player sprints if you set higher players will sprint faster player stamina regen scale sets how fast a player regenerates stamina if you set higher you'll get it faster player xp harvest multiplier sets how much xp a player gets from harvesting if you say it higher you'll get more and as you can see i've set a lot of these to just one because if you change this around you'll greatly affect the combat in the game and i've left it to one because i like where the combat is and i don't really want to dabble with it too much and i want to allow the um funcom to basically do what they what they want to do in their updates to better the combat system instead of trying to you know think that i know best or whatever and editing that myself but obviously you can change that if you want but stuff like you know stamina and, and all that sort of stuff you don't want to push that too much because then if you've got too much stamina the game will become really really easy because then you don't have to be watching your stamina and that is that stamina management is a big part of the combat so dogs of the desert spawn with dogs um sets how much dogs of the desert will spawn which basically doesn't do that this is wrong that's like this is just a click thing if you click this then you'll see dogs of the desert i haven't seen any dogs of the desert playing in this game so i don't know if this actually does anything enforce rotation rate when roaming high is the roaming rate when walking i don't know what this means <laughs> I don't know what this means i'm assuming it's something to do with you know the right analog stick like when you rotate the camera but i i just wouldn't touch that unarmed npc step back distance sets how far unarmed npcs will step back i don't know what this step back thing is but higher equals more far avatar summon time is the time required to summon an avatar that's pretty much straightforward 20 is 20 seconds chat has global allows or uh, disallows global chat which is saying that it's allowing global chat but i haven't actually played in conan exiles for a while so i need to go and check it out and see if they've actually brought global chat here because i don't think they have <clears throat> but this either enables it or disables it target prediction max seconds i think that basically is like your lock on time i think land claim radius for all player multiplier this increases and decreases the radius at which land claim is applied so if you want you know if someone lays a foundation how big is the radius around that that claims the land so if you lower it it'll be smaller if you higher it it'll be larger so unconscious time of second on the conscious time second sets the duration of unconsciousness in seconds it's currently at 600 local nav mesh visualization frequency i don't know what that is but it seems like some sort of graphics thing leave it alone <laughs> region allow africa oh yeah these region allows just is allowing people to join your server from different regions so if you just want to say only people from europe can join the server or only people from i believe this is the us oceana can join the server then you can unclick the rest of these and have one part enabled but i've enabled you know anyone can join the server from anywhere oh no here's north america and all that sort of stuff they've actually got a bunch of regions down here so yeah you can deal with that throw crafting time multiplier sets the speed of crafting done by thralls 
Now, if I'm to believe that this works the same way as the rest of the crafting multipliers, then if you set this lower, it will be faster. But some of these things, like they, they're not consistent. So I don't really know. And I haven't tested it out because you have to, you know, get a throw and put it on a crafting thing and you know wait for it to see how long it's going to take and then test it and see you know all that sort of stuff so i've just left it on one i've just left it on one because like having throws and getting throws and making them speed up your crafting is part of the game and i don't think the crafting takes that long in in the first place so i don't think this really needs to be changed so i just leave this at one and don't risk making it take even longer so this is the max clan size clan size here you can set this to five people you can set it to less you can set it to more throw corruption removal multiplier this is how long it takes to remove corruption when you're sitting in front of an entertainer raising it increases it lowering de decreases the time enable facing on attack this activates the auto target system when using the gamepad i i don't know what that's supposed to mean but i've left it on and the combat is working just fine if you turn it off that may change what's going on i think what happens is if you aim at someone it will just look at them i think that's what it's doing but i'm not 100 percent sure because i again i haven't played conan exiles in a little while building decay time multiplier if you set this higher, it will make the decay time take longer. If you set it lower, it will make the decay time take um, shorter. But as I've seen from the building decay, it, it doesn't work as the last I've seen. Hopefully they fixed that and ha buildings actually decay now. But what I saw when I was checking things out is when a building is supposed to decay, you go up to it and it'll say decayed. You have no option to delete that building or anything like that and you still have to raid it and get rid of it using normal means. This kick AFK time is the time in seconds until an idle player will be automatically kicked from the server. That's currently set to 2700. PVP time weekday start. Why? I, I don't know. I don't know why they have this over here. I don't know why they have this over here because it's, it's weird that they've got the limit thing over there and then they've got the PVP time weekend and all that sort of stuff over here again and again but i just leave those i just leave those honestly i'm not even sure if this stuff is 100 percent working at this current moment because there's things like this going on there's so many conflicting codes that it doesn't make sense so you know i've just left it <laughs> i just left it maybe it works maybe it doesn't it's not that deep but if you really want to make sure that this is working exactly how you want it to then test it out and you can also move these times down here where it's saying, you know, PVP time weekday start. You can just copy those over. But I personally haven't done that because it really doesn't matter that deeply. Um, so let's go down the second column. This is going to be a long ass video, boy. But it's going to cover a lot of things. So hopefully this helps out you guys who are continuing to watch. If you're still watching, comment but badass with a hashtag down below something like that <laughs> so i know that you got this far so player water multiplier we've already talked about that we've already talked about offline first offline hunger day cycle speed scale is basically the same as nighttime speed scale oh no this is is this the same thing yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so this is basically how fast the day will change to night so if you put it higher then it's going to go to night quicker because the day is going to run out quicker so as i said before you change it to five it's going to go five times quicker dawn and dusk speed scale sets how long dawn and dusk will take i haven't really tested what is dawn and dusk on the server so i'd say leave it at one if you want shorter nights deal with that over here you want longer days deal with that over here leave dawn and dusk speed scale alone because i don't have a clue what's going on again if you guys know any of these settings that i'm not sure of 
and you know what they do exactly then leave those in the comment section down below of course i'm doing this video because a lot of people have asked me to walk through the settings and i want to show you guys what i've like the settings that i've got on my server as well as walk you through the settings and let you know you know what certain things do but if there's a setting that i don't know what it does then i'll just say i don't know because i'm honest like that and it doesn't matter if i don't know it at least i'm showing you all these other things that i do know and you can find out if this makes a difference or not and you can just leave it as default so here's harvest amount multiplier we've got around 15 on our server so it's easier to gain resources and it's not so grindy and that basically adjusts the amount of harvest material so i think at default you probably you let's say you get one stone if you put it to 15 you get 15 stones that's how that works no ownership sets if land cannot be claimed and honestly the land claiming thing is really really annoying when people have decayed bases and stuff so you may want to turn on no ownership but if you have land claiming on then the, ba the basic way it works is if you build something then people can't build super close to you that's what land claiming does so if you turn that off then people may be able to build next door to you and that may also be um annoying so drop shortcut bar on death basically means you'll lose the items in your shortcut bar when you die if you turn this off then you're supposed to keep the stuff in your shortcut bar but again just because it says that this is an option doesn't mean that it's actually active in game so you'll need to test these things to make sure that they actually work because some of these things just don't work yet but hopefully they all work in the future like after six months when this video is out hopefully everything is working by then so here's the stamina cost multiplier i've put that to 0 0.5 so that it's half the stamina cost and if you lower it it'll be you know less of the stamina cost if you higher it i mean if you raise it it will be more stamina cost so that's how that works chat flood control ahead counter is spam filter for the chat <laughs> there is no chat as far as i know so i don't know how this works use client catch-up time activates or deactivates the client catch up time which is calling spawn protection which i don't know how spawn protection works but i did explain how client catch up time worked before so you know this basically enables it or turns it off player knockback multiplier is how strong the players can be knocked back we've got that we've got basically all this stuff set to one structure but if you put it higher then you'll get stronger knockbacks and that'll make the game harder for you because then you know you'll be knocked back when the enemy hits you and it'll be harder for you to get back into the action and maybe they'll knock you off a cliff or something which would be really really terrible so that's that structure health multiplier sets how much health a structure has so if you want it to have more health you raise this number if you want it to have less you lower that number crafting cost sets how much crafting materials will be needed for each um craft crafting item or each thing you want to craft so if you set it lower you'll need less materials if you set it higher you'll need more materials but if you mess with this then you mess with the balance of the game because the game seems to be balanced around getting thralls so that you know you get the right thralls that speed up your crafting and make your crafting costs lower so if from day one you have low crafting costs then it doesn't really incentivize you to get those specialized throws that will give you lower crafting costs of course that will still be great because you'll have even lower crafting costs but i wouldn't mess with these settings here minion damage taken multiplier sets how much damage minions will take which are throws or pets if those come higher means they'll take more damage lower means they'll take less i don't think this this command currently works player damage taken will set how much damage the players will take higher equals more lower equals less player movement speed scale gives you like how fast a player can move higher equals faster lower equals slower player stamina cost sets how much stamina is needed generally higher equals more lower equals less player xp rate sets how much the player gets in general i've set this to five so people can level up more quickly but not too fast 10 i believe is a bit too fast five i think is a nice medium you'll level up in a reasonable amount of time but it'll still take you time to get to like tier three and, and all that sort of stuff and start unlocking you know certain things so you still have to put that time in 
XP craft multiplier sets how much the XP a player sets how much XP a player gets from crafting. So if you times it by five, you get five times more. That sort of stuff. Highly suggest if you change the XP rate, the base XP rate. This is the XP rate that you'll get across everything. By the way, so you know your crafting, your killing, everything is times five over here. I'd highly suggest you don't change any of the other XP rates because then instead of it being five times you like you get five times xp for a kill if you change this to like two then you'll be getting 10 times xp per kill and five times for pretty much everything else so you know unless you really want that then i wouldn't suggest changing that cross desert once changes the first spawn in the world so if you spawn in you spawn into the desert and you die you won't need to spawn back from the original starting place in the desert. I don't have this enabled because I want, you know, if you spawn in and you, you come in and you don't create a bed roll or anything like that and you die, you should go back to the beginning, boy. So we've left that unchecked. And force rotation, again, I think this is the, the right analog stick moving the camera. I'm not 100% sure. Avatars disabled. If you click this, then you'll disable avatars can be damaged if you click this then players can be damaged so if you turn this off then players cannot be damaged but they will be able to attack people's bases if you've enabled pvp so that can be a really really bad situation path following avoidance mode i think this is to do with the thralls and how they avoid um obstacles so i'd leave that how it is because i don't i don't think they're great at that anyways so i wouldn't really mess with that and make them even worse target protection allows second for a target prediction allows seconds for attack I have no idea what this is about but this is basically something to do with combat so i'd leave that item conversion multiplier is the crafting speed which i've halved on my server is 0 0.5 it's not i haven't made it too fast but i've made it not as long to like craft and stuff and i believe this does change the amount of time it takes to smelt ore and make bricks and do that sort of stuff and for pretty much you know any any machine that you got that makes stuff i think this halves the or changes the speed of that as well so obviously if you put it lower you'll make it faster if you put it higher you'll make it slower so that's how that works consciousness damagement i mean damage multiply damagement you know multiplies the amount of damage taken by a throw while unconscious so i've left this at one if you put it higher i'm assuming it will make you take make your throws take more damage use local quadratic angular velocity prediction don't know what that means i highly suggest you leave it alone and now my phone is buzzing off that's a little bit annoying sorry about that let's keep that over here hopefully that you didn't hear that so much and then this is like region allow asia western europe south america and that sort of stuff and that's how that works containers own uh, ignore ownership everyone can uh, open containers right about now on my server it seems like you can't even like you can't pin code your server you can't pin code your containers or anything like that and your containers are just automatically locked on the like if you rent a server but if you select this then it seems like everyone can open your containers which will be terrible this would this would be really really bad but there needs to be a way to make it so people can pin code their containers and if they don't pin code their containers people can access them that's how it's supposed to be you should be able to access people's containers and access people's you know building tools not building tools but like you know the benches and, and that sort of stuff crafting benches and all that sort of shit so <clears throat> here's crafting mode modifier i haven't changed that i don't know exactly what that does player corruption gain multiplier basically multiplies the amount of corruption you'll get if you're in a corrupted area lower i'm assuming would mean like a lower number would get you less corruption higher number would get you more corruption enable target lock gives you the opportunity to lock onto targets so you probably want to have that on if you want people to be able to use the combat system co-op tethering limit doesn't really matter on a dedicated server so don't worry about that 
and let's go to the third column oh my god this is taking fucking edges my but it's got to be done it's got to be done guys i knew this was going to be a long one and we're doing it for you and we're walking through everything remember if you want me to walk through a specific thing or you've got the answer to something that i didn't know in this video leave that in the comment section down below thank you very much <clears throat> so this is actually affecting my voice and stuff so I'm, I'm unsure if i'll be able to record more videos today but we'll see we'll see durability multiplier basically items will have more durability if you set this higher and they'll have less durability if you set this lower player idle thirst multiplier we already talked about that shield durability works the same as durability multiplier but it is applied to shields daytime speed scale is like nighttime speed scale day cycle speed scale should be the day cycle then this seems like it's wrong so when i said day cycle speed scale sets how fast the day will change to night forget that but i guess maybe you know that something but i'd leave that on one and change the daytime speed scale if you want the daytime to be um longer it says sets how fast the day will be over, but I would assume that if you set this higher, it will multiply how long the day lasts. But, you know, it's not consistent. As I said, it's it's not consistent. Um, no, actually, yeah, if you do it five times, then it will, it will go five times faster. Sorry. Yeah, so that's how that works. Player health multiplier adjust the health of players. Higher equals more health, lower equals less health. Item spoil rate scale adjust how fast items will spoil i'm assuming if you put this higher they'll spoil faster can damage can damage player owned structures sets of players can damage structures by players again you know if you want a pvp server then you want to have this on but you can just turn that off like if you want a pve server you can turn off players can damage own structures and you can um you can also turn off what's it called the players can damage each other i looked at that earlier you can you know go back through the thing but you can do that to turn off pve i'm not sure if yeah there's a pvp enabled thing there so you could just make it like players can attack each other but they can't attack structures if that's something that you want to do you can definitely do that and edit that over here drop backpack on death sets if the player loses the backpack on death which is basically loses everything that you you had on you when you die. So you drop all your loot in a backpack. So that's what activating that does. NPC mind reading mode will basically show you if, you know, people are going to attack you or not. If an NPC is a, you know, a neutral NPC or if it's an NPC that's going to fight you. But you can't edit. <laughs> so who cares? enable sandstorm will basically enable or disable the sandstorm if you turn this off client catch-up time is we had that over there i don't know why 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 would they have it again this is like the exact same thing we've already done this over here and i swear we've done the um what's it called structure damage multiplier but this sets how much damage a structure will deal so that is different that could be like spikes that may count as trebuchets i'm not 100 percent sure but i've left this on one if you put it higher they'll deal more damage npc respawn multiplier sets how fast npcs will respawn i've set that higher on my server so we have npcs respawning more fast so you can more fast i don't know if that works more quickly so you can go and you know get those npcs and get more thrills and, and that sort of stuff player damage more player sets how much damage a player will deal and if you say it higher you'll deal more damage if you say it lower you'll deal less damage npc damage multiplier sets how much damage your npc will deal again higher more damage lower less damage player encumbrance multiplier sets how much weight a player gets if he picks up an item this does not work um last time when i tested it this did not work hopefully it works now when you're watching this but you know if you're watching this as soon as it comes out this doesn't work so you won't be able to do anything with this we've got it on 0 0.5 on, on this server hoping that it would work maybe it works eventually but as far as i know it doesn't work yet 
Player stamina cost sprint multiplier is how much stamina is used if a player sprints. Sprints higher equals you'll be using more stamina. Player health regen speed scale sets how fast a player regenerates health. Higher equals you'll regenerate faster. Player XP kill multiplier sets how much XP you get per kill. The XP time set, um, sets how much XP you'll get for just standing there um, and being idle. So if you set this to five, it'll be five times XP and same over there weapon effect bounds shorten in fraction the weapon effect is shorter shorter higher equals shorter i have no idea what this means i'm assuming this is something to do with you know the effect of weapons like if you put poison on your weapon or something like that the actual default is 0 0.2 so i wouldn't change that clip velocity on nav mesh boundary sets the velocity of clipping though i don't know maybe it's something to do with building if you guys know let me know down below i'm not a game designer so i don't know what this this stuff means but i've heard of mesh and, and that sort of stuff before so it's something to do with the environment avatar lifetime sets time the length of time that avatar can remain alive in the world i'm unsure if this is seconds or minutes because i haven't actually spawned the avatar and i don't know what the default timings are for avatar so if you know you know let me know down below what the default timings are for avatars but this is set as default like what happens when you get the server so if it's 60 minutes on official then this would be in minutes and that's how that works chat local radius determines how far local chat will broadcast around a player this may have something to do with voice chat because you can do voice chat in the game which is pretty good it's pretty good voice chat but there's just no text chat yet as as far as i know rotate the target sends angular velocity don't know what that means max aggro range sets the maximum range in which enemies attack if you don't want enemies attacking you from ages away and you want them to only attack you when you really want to fight them and you're ready for that then you can set this much lower but this is the default max ag aggro range path following sends angular velocity don't know what that means validate fizz nav walk with ray cost don't know what that means clan max size that is the clan max size i feel like i've done that over here huh so this is clan size this is clan max size so this is the maximum amount of people in a clan this i don't know what that does it seems to be the same kind of thing and here's more regions for different region you know allowing different regions you can disable building abandonment which means buildings won't be abandoned which i think will lead to buildings not decaying if the key even works by the time you're watching this fuel burn time multiplier sets how fast fuel burns higher means it burns faster server voice chat selects if server should have in-game voice chat or not as you can see this is currently not active over here but my server does have in-game voice chat if you go to another player and you see them and you use your mic you will hear that player so i don't know what this actual setting is for at all to be honest friendly fire damage multiplier this is the amount of damage a player will deal to a friendly player so it's 0 0.5 it's not that bad but you will deal damage lowering it decreases the amount of damage you'll get throw conversion multiplier basically changes the amount of time it takes to train convert or tame a throw raising this increases the time it takes lowering it decreases that time kick afk percentage servers will only start to kick idle players if the amount of players compared to the max capacity is above the set percentage so if you've got 80 percent of your max capacity on then people will start being kicked that's what this basically does so you can change this percentage to 100 you can change it to one to just kick anyone who's idle and then you know you've got pvp time weekend end which again is the same that we saw over here so this system is a bit weird so there we are there you have it that's the whole thing wow i hope this video helped you out if you've got any questions or any other tutorials you'd like me to make please leave those in the description down below i will be doing you know more dedicated videos on each setting that people request that they need more info on so stay around if you want to learn more things about that we will be doing more admin tutorials around conan exile so stay around for that thanks for watching and liking and subscribing I'll see you in the next Conan Exiles PS4 server tutorial. Peace out.
If you want to grind less and have more fun in Conan Exiles on the PS4, then come and join my boosted PvP server. Go to ConanExilesPS4.com forward slash join. There you'll find all the information you need in order to come and join the server. And there's also an admin shop on the server so you can speed up your progress if you want to. You can become a patron, all that sort of great stuff. Go to ConanExilesPS4.com forward slash join. Come and play now. This server's for mature players only. No salty squeakers allowed. So I will see you guys in the wasteland. Peace out. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you.